Now then, today I'm gonna show you how to make a full roast dinner, a full Thanksgiving spread in 30 minutes. I know that sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it can be done. Let's get into it. We start by making our sweet potato and pecan pie. Part boiling some sweet potatoes to make them soft enough to mash not forgetting to salt that water. Whilst we're doing that, we're gonna use a steamer to soften some root veg. We've gone for carrots and parsnips. We're gonna soften them up by putting that steamer on top of the pan and let that steam do the work. After about five minutes, we'll put that lovely veg onto a baking tray and drizzle over some lovely olive oil and maple syrup. Then sprinkle over thyme, lemon, salt, pepper, loads of flavor before we roast it in the oven for 15 minutes. Now quickly on, we will get some corn on the go. Simply add some melted butter to a pan, along with a generous grating of nutmeg and a load of corn. Let that sizzle away on a medium heat for about 10 minutes. Next, we'll add a splash of oat milk and some salt and mash them all really well. Proper get your arm in there. Use a masher or a spoon, either is fine. Check that flavor, adjust and season to perfection. Place it into a baking dish and then get on with the topping. The topping is super easy, it's quick. We're gonna use oats, sugar and pecans mixed together with some melted butter, all stirred and then used to top that pie. Pop that in the oven next to the root veg and get on with the next thing. Next, we're gonna be making a quick cabbage with a delicious dressing. Simply add your dressing ingredients to a bowl, stir that all together, and then add some shredded red cabbage. Set that aside, that's gonna develop, and we're on to the next thing. You see how quick we're being right now. This is a proper speedy recipe. Now, most of our bits and bobs are ready. We're ready to do the main event. We're gonna make our life easier and make this quicker by using shop-bought vegan steak and vegan bacon. That's gonna form our centerpiece for this dish. Pan fry that with some melted butter plus a little bit of dried oregano. And just baste some of that liquid melted butter over the top to cook both sides as you go. shouldn't take too long to cook this. Make sure when it's done, you pull it out and drain it on some kitchen paper and give it a little bit of time to rest. That vegan steak will benefit from that resting time. And then we're gonna add some greens, collard greens, kale or spring onions to the same pan with all of that lovely flavor. Add a splash of orange, some red wine vinegar, a bit of nutmeg to flavor, toss that all together and then serve. delicious. It's the Thanksgiving roast from our Speedy Boss book. You can actually see it right there. Looks gorgeous, but you've just watched me cook it, so you don't need to see that. Let's see what Ian thinks about how it tastes. Ian! Ooh. Yo! Here we go. <laughs> Serious spread. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, let's go in. Um, that sweet potato pie, I'm, it, it's called my name. Oh, is that the one to start with, yeah, right? Yeah, go for it. So this sweet potato pie is sweet, it's sticky, it's delicious. Hopefully, you'll agree. Mm, mm. I do agree. It's amazing. It's, I just love sweet potato. Yeah. And, and you've done a very, very, very good job there. If you're strapped for time over the course of Thanksgiving, this is your answer. Happy Thanksgiving to you all, or just happy roast dinner day, if you prefer that. And we will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace.